Hi all, it's Barb coming to my craft studio. I'm going to try to t give you a little bit of tour of my closet back stock area today. Be right back. Hopefully it's not too dark in here and hopefully my cricket isn't making too much noise. On the very top of the closet, I have wreath making supplies. I have all of my um, mesh rolls and um, pipe cleaners are up in the very corner up there. The next row, that container there, all right, let's see, there, that one is wedding supplies i bought i bought a bunch when my son got married and well things happen and i really don't have photographs to make the album so someday i might try just using what i have but it's not at all i wanted to represent both sides of the family and it just can't be done um and then the one you can probably tell there's yarn in that one and then the next one has, that one's yarns. This one's like journaling books and supplies. And then I have a bunch of iris cases that I store vertically. I don't like when they're stacked on top of each other because then I have to get, if the one I want's on the bottom, I have to take them all down. So that is one of my favorite tips of Tiffany is go vertical when you can. <laughs> but I have like, paper lunch bags in one. There's tool, napkins, my laminating supplies, toner foiling supplies, tags, um, pencil cases, and it's like different um, blanks in the one. Fuse accessories. I should try to move that to a um, fab file. Pinwheel punch board accessories, flower punch board accessories, then that's like the one has like brown paper in it like packing paper but I use it sometimes in my craft room so I put it there then I have some fab files there that have acetate chipboard I'm trying to tell what's in the one but I can't read it da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to get close enough to read it I still can't read it oh corrugated cardboard is in that one and then this one here has craft board in it and the last one the blue one has some of my mom's old jewelry in it and then I have some different photo boxes that have different things in them some of them I think actually need to be relabeled I'm not sure if that's even what's in there anymore I've thought about moving the streamers to like an Edna bag because I think they'd fit in there I like Tiffany's bags better because I can see what's in them rather than the box um, there I have some um, of Tiffany's bags that have some of my scraps cut to size to use for my different We Are Memory Keepers punch boards and then the last one has a shadow box frame but I only have one left and here there's some I'm trying to think if there's actually what if that's what's in there Oh, yeah, some extra card making supplies. And then there's like um, five by seven envelopes and stuff. These, this is how I keep my um, We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. These are, I think it's pronounced Cavissal. It's K V 
I S S L E. I might have totally butchered this pronunciation, but um, I put my my We Are Memory Keepers punch boards in those. The last one doesn't have a lot in it, but it's um, I like I think that works well for me. And this shelf here has some lettering products and some Crafters Companion box kits that I had. I think this one might be, it's backwards. Yeah, it's, um, this is one of Tiffany's, um, what does she call them? Storage and supply cases. I've got my planner disc in there, my extra ones. This is my back stock of embossing powder. I have small bottles of it on one of my carts. And this is just my back stock. Then there's some different supplies in one of the slide stash and stores. I've got three cubes sitting here. Um, and it's got A2 envelopes. There's maps there, gift bags. Got some completed ornaments there that I should try to get my one out to my sister before she moves. And then I have my YouTube planning area here. I have one for each day of the week because I have five different themes. I don't do necessarily do five videos a week. Some weeks I just don't do certain ones. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling my time and whether I have anything for that particular theme this week that week and then um those two there I think are empty totally Tiffany memento holders when I ordered some one time I thought it was a one pack and it was a two pack so I ended up with more than I needed so those ones are a couple extra ones and then I have my stencils there and then I keep my stamps of life um some I keep the one copy of each of the papers because I, I sometimes will especially with the die cut ones I will copy them off and reuse them and then down here I have it's an office depot cart but it has a totally Tiffany apron on it she doesn't sell the aprons anymore and then it's filled with um some extra organizing supplies, some of the um, 12 by 12 pockets and stuff. That's my non-Tiffany organizing stuff, though I do have a desk made on top. That there is some of the extra things to my um, ring light. There's that one down there has some extra slat wall accessories. And then here, these I got at Michael's. I think they have a new version of it. When I bought it, it was, I think, the Recollections or Ashland's brand. And I think they've switched to a different brand now. But it was called a Media Storage Tower. But I think they have something similar. The Iris cases fit in it. This is my back stock area. I've got, I need to label my themed ones, but I have one for, or each season, I should say season, not theme. There is one that just says themes, but I don't have much in it. This has either back stock or some of it has bulky stuff in it too that just doesn't fit well in other storage areas. But a lot of it's just back stock. And then there's one for each color. I used washi on them that kind of fit the category that was in there, either the season or the rainbow color. And then I, on the rainbow ones, I cut out the color name out of vinyl. Oops, stuff has fallen. This is an Ikea. Um, it's supposed to hold paper bags. Right now I just have, I bought a bunch of them thinking they were going to come in handy for my craft room and they didn't work very well for me. For one thing, I couldn't get them up by myself and at that time Puppy was still working. I should probably have him try to get them up now, the ones that I still want to use. But, um, that one I just stick my, usually, sometimes I'll put paper, plastic bags, but I'm not getting many of those anymore because we bring reusable bags with us whenever we go shopping. So that's just got my garbage bags for my garbage cans. But this is kind of mainly where I put either back stock or bulky items, like my punch boards are there. Um, 
I love the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. I'm a sucker for them. Some of those I've used more than others. Um, my favorite's probably the pinwheel punch board. I did get my party punch board out today and use it. So it was kind of fun to get one out that I haven't really used much. But that's kind of my back stock area. I don't know if I can get down here and show you kind of. Just pull that one. The green, that's the green one. It's got some duplicate pens, some extra beads. I think, I think that might be like um, sequins or something in that container. It's an old Tupperware container, but I just, I don't use them, use those ones in the kitchen anymore. So I just used them to put back stack stuff in to put in here. Now this one, the red one has some big bulky ribbon and some smart vinyl that I bought a couple in that color so I put one one of them in here and I think I labeled I try to when I put like paper or vinyl that type of thing in here I try to label the original the one that's out in my craft room I try to label it back stock so I know I have more so that I don't think oh I got to go buy more of that <laughs> because that is something that I would definitely do it's a little hard to get in here, so I'm sorry. This video is a little shaky and not the best lighting, but I just wanted to do kind of a quick overview, overview of it. Um, I think next up, I'll try to do show all my carts. Normally, I park a bunch of my carts right here. Okay, back up. You can see there's a little bit of room between the front of the closet and the stuff that's in there. So my, some of my carts usually are parked here when I'm not using them. I just moved them out of the way to film. Well, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.